What's up guys, Main Man Swee here and welcome to Geese Howard's 8 minute guide. This one's gonna be hard in 8 minutes. Uh, Geese is 2D but quite Tekken. Uh, his generic Tekken tools are very strong so you can actually play him without meter. He's the most Tekken out of the 2D characters. Very strong offense, very strong defense. The defense is mostly Geese classic touch of death. He has above average movement and a very strong sidestep. So that when he has meter, it makes you whiff into this and it's curtains, you are dead. Or he does his uh, trademark parry, especially the mid parry here. Side switch into, again, standing to touch of death with meter. You are dead, he's a very, very scary character. So again, the movement is very strong, especially the sidestep. Uh, generic Tekken tools, the jab. Uh, in my opinion, best jab in the game. One of the oh, best jab in the game, in my opinion. Very good horizontal hitbox, very strong vertical hitbox, can be special cancelled into specials, uh, can do one, two, uh, sorry, can do one, two, high mid, safe, minus seven, moves forward a lot when while doing it, safe, super good, can add additional hits to make the opponent wary of attacking, can do one, one, uh, but again, you have all your specials, all your specials are here. Uh, so strong. Down for one, uh, super long range down for one. Look at this. Say no more. Uh, mid counter it launching follow up minus 13. Uh, can do mid high down for one, one, minus four on block. Uh, yeah. Down for two, plus 14 on a normal hit. Uh, long range homing mid, safe on block. Oh, what's that? I, get a, I got a counter hit. Uh, well, that, that should combo. I just fucked it up. But if they get launched, standing four looks a lot like Jin's. Minus eight, though on block. Bad on whiff. But long range, man. And counter hit launcher. That's what we wanted. Uh, sidestep three, best low in the game, if you ask me. Quite good range, but not spectacular. But, you know, quite decent. Plus four, normal hit, 18 damage. Only minus 12 on block. And again, counter hit. Launcher, yes. Uh, down four, uh, Geese has range problems uh, sometimes, you know. Uh, he has great tools, but um, uh, compared to other characters, he doesn't really have this really good long range knockdown stuff. Um, but down four is a long range attack, but it's quite interesting. It's special cancelable, so it starts his offense. It is launch punishable on block bow. But should you get the counter hit, you have a very long range counter hit low, launching low here. Uh, it's a very interesting attack and good. Down two, nice low poke, instantly crushes highs. Only minus 14 on block. It's very fast, comes out at 14 frames. It's very good. Can be done from crouch as well. Uh, all DLC characters have an orbital and uh, geese as well. Best offensive orbital in the game. Very, very long range. Sometimes tracks weirdly to the sides. Uh, it's just very good. Has a pretty high mid hitbox though, so characters with a lot of mid evasion, they dodge that. Uh, Repugan, the projectile, so good at controlling space. Force them away, make them sidestep and slowly work their, their way towards you. So good at controlling space. It slides across the floor though, so weak to jumping attacks. Uh, Geese 50-50. Uh, you do core circle back to free, mid option, but if it hits, it gives a guaranteed stand up, unbreakable ground throw, or you do a low option, uh, core circle back to four, also gives the same thing. Mid option is safe, low option, however, is launch punishable at minus 18, but this is really good. Uh, Giant can, super good power crush, uh, natural combo, boom boom, wall splats. Safe on block, but mid high, so we can duck the second hit. But that's where you have the mid Jaiken to mix them up. This one is minus 14 on block, however. Uh, down one plus two, knock down low into stand up. Bad range though, and reactable at 24 frames. Uh, so they'll sniff this once you get really close. Uh, and his command throw is really, really good. It's way above average. Uh, it, it does 40 damage. But the good thing is that when you have your back towards the wall, this is guaranteed. Stand up. That's 64 damage. And his dick jab, also so good. Special cancelable. And on counter hit, guarantees a giant can. So strong. 
uh, his parry, uh, arguably best parry in the game, uh, I would say after Jin. Uh, the parry is divided into high, low, mid, but mostly you'll be doing the mid because it gives you the guaranteed standing to into death, basically. So super strong parry. Uh, when he has meter, his punishment is quite bad uh, in general, like especially without meter. 1 1 2 for 10, 12 frame is back 1 3 or back 1 2. Uh, 14 frame, 1 plus 2, back 2, and 15 frame, you don't get a launch. But once he has meter, you know what it looks like. You know, standing to his death at 15 frames. And also he gets a 14 frame launcher in back three too. Very long range. And on block, um, this also gives great pressure when you, once you have meter on block. Meter pressure with these is insane. So back three too, if it doesn't launch, plus two into pressure. Air Shippuken. Airship hook, and as you can see, plus four, and leaves me right next to them. So, wait, meter is very scary. Uh, the aforementioned 50 50, both options launch when he's in max mode, so when he's used meter. So, uh, yeah, uh, very strong indeed uh, with, uh, with, with the meter stuff. Uh, so that's Geese. There's so much to talk about, and I hope you saw that he has crazy generic Tekken tools, and the meter stuff is insane as well. Get the sidestep, get the standing two combo. Uh, poke away with your super strong pokes. You can keep it very, very safe. Just let the counter hits flow, so strong. How do you counter Geese? He has range problems. If you stay away from him, down four reaches you, but otherwise it's it's a quite, quite clunkly, clunk, clunkly, clunky set of attacks. If you stay away from him. Uh, oh shit, that one plus two still hit from that range. Uh, and again, Geese without meter, he can't launch you from standing minus 15. So the character completely changes and he's much scarier defensively when he has meter. If he doesn't have meter, parry doesn't hurt as much, especially if there's no wall behind him. He can always throw you into the wall. And again, he just won't be able to launch you when you're minus 15. So again, if you're playing Negan, you can throw power crush quite. You don't risk too much versus Geese. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it very much changes without meter. Uh, and you can actually fuzzy guard. The, uh, this isn't exactly, it's, it's not a real, uh, Geese 50-50 is a 50-50 with quotation marks because mid option comes out at 24 frames, low option comes out at 27, three frames of difference. You can actually fuzzy guard this. When you see him do this 50-50, you see the initial hit, core circle back two, keep your guard up and wait, you, you have to practice this a lot, but wait for the, this kick to pass and then do a duck guard and you, you can actually time both options. It's not a real 50-50. Uh, Giant can, don't let him get away with it. A lot of these players lazily spam this because no one ducks the second hit. Lock the first hit, duck the second hit, launch, punish him. If he does a mid option, he's minus 14. Do your biggest punish, obviously. Beware of a geese that has a wall behind him. Again, the back one plus two command throw, 64 damage. He's, he's gonna want a mid parry to side switch and wall splat you. Don't give him that. If you've knocked down a geese at the wall and he tech rolls, he will tech roll into the mid parry, expecting you to try to wall splat. Don't give him that. Wait, parry is super bad on whiff. Punish him for it. And that's geese in eight minutes. I hope you enjoyed the video.